40, it was high, it was low tide, and the beach was, my God, it was 300, oh, more than 300 yards from the low tide up to the, so we were still, we were still 20 or 30 minutes off of being in to where we dropped the thing. Mm -hmm. And when they would come by like this and just, I think it was kind of like stay out of our territory, the machine guns kind of, and they would go across that thing up front and then hit water and stuff. And it was mostly fear they weren't going to kill us right then. But that's when I said, the guy said, how are we going to get out of this thing? I said, we're going in here and the, the one that seems to be giving us the most, hitting us the most is up there. I'm going over the right side. And this is a matter of life and death. You don't need a boss to tell you this. You do, you do whatever you think is right for you, but I'm going over the right side. Well, of course, most of my guys went over the right side. I think some of them who couldn't crawl over the thing to go over tried to go down the ramp and they didn't make it. And a couple of them we threw over it. They got hit by machine gun fire as the ramp dropped and they tried to go out the front? As soon as the ramp dropped, they, they had zeroed in and that whoever went down the ramp, some of them got hurt real bad, others got killed right there. Mm -hmm. But I'll bet you we were in eight feet mm -hmm. and trying to get up with all this stuff to get a breath, you couldn't do it. So I just shed my pack and helped other guys. I was trying to pull up out of there, get up long enough to get a breath. And then they said, what about the pack? I said, don't worry about the pack. Of course, we're, I didn't realize then, but there was plenty of packs to be found on the beach because guys were dropping. If they didn't drop in the water, they'd drop them up there because you had to move fast on the beach mm -hmm. to, to pick up from here to the window would be a good gain on the beach where you had to hit the dirt again because of the machine guns. So uh, it's, uh, it was, getting off the boat was a mess. Uh, we were, we should have drowned and some of the boys did, but most of them I was able to get a hold of or they would have to push me and we'd get up over the edge. You only had to take, go from here to the second coffee table because the bomb crater was like this. Mm -hmm. But getting breath to get up there was a big problem with all mm -hmm. that stuff on you. That's why we started dropping stuff there and, mm -hmm. and grabbing other guys and pulling them till they could get up and get a breath there. And, uh, that in itself was real scary. Mm -hmm. Once you got on the beach, how did you get protection? No protection when you're on the beach. Okay, so you're, are you seeing muzzle flashes? Oh, yeah. yeah, tracers. But what I was watching was there were a machine gun nest there and one here. This one seemed to have the best angle on us, and that one over there was apparently going this way and this way. So I was watching this, and when he would go by, I would make a run just because I'd drop my pack and everything else and so my guys as hard as we could go. And if we could get from here to, the, to your wife, Mm. That'd be good, and then hit the beach again because you knew he was going to be coming back with it. Mm. And when you hit the beach, you'd, you'd actually hit it so low your helmet would come off and roll there, and you'd try to grab it and put it back here so you got hit there, and there was nothing to get down into. You're just, it'd be like going to the beach to go swimming or something, and just, but there was lots of pebbles and stuff on the mm. beach too. Mm. And I saw guys get hurt bad with that. The machine gun missed them went right by them, but in going by it hit some of those pebbles and stuff and just, they exploded just like, like, like a grenade would explode and the pieces of all the stuff would, like this and just cut them all up from the pebbles they didn't get, but they were hurt and some lost eye problems and things from it and some on the side of the head, I missed that, but uh, there was no place else to go, you, you had no, then if you remember on the beach, you go up so far and then there's a rock break, like a little rock break. My goal was to get to that rock break where I could look around and see where my guys were because half my platoon was gone when we got on the boat. The boat went on the whole 24. I had 45 guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that boat was getting in. The side. From then, I didn't know where my guys were. I only knew the ones I had, and I'm not going to tell you a number exactly because I'm not sure how many of them were already killed or badly wounded. So I'm fighting a platoon objective with maybe... 15 or 20 guys at the most then. I didn't think he's, well, by the time I got up to the cliff, I know I wasn't, I didn't have that many. But we're trying to get up to that rock break. I'm trying to keep them spread out because if they drop a, 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 bomb, a piece of artillery in on us, whether it's a, a, a what is it, dropping a, a mortar? mortar, whether it's a mortar or whether it's a, a, a shell from a, from a 88, whatever drops on us, if we're all together, we're all going to keep spread out. And I didn't want to either. I want to be close to you because mm -hmm. you and me 
I'm going to make it together, but I finally convinced them to stay apart because guys were dropping everywhere. And uh, so some of us got up to that rock break and then we kind of got together in the rock break and started deciding how he was going to get from here up to the, to the wall, to the hill. So the reason we're, I'm talking to you today is one of the ships from a mile at sea or more, maybe, finally got coordinates that they, they were afraid to fire before Kaiser would drop mm -hmm. short on us. Mm -hmm. When they finally got enough coordinate, coordinate information to know where they had to be, then they started firing. And then with that, with the 101st Airborne coming in from the back up there, it diverted some of the stuff away from us, and that's why any of us are alive. Okay, Art. Um, obviously, from the time your LCI, you know, approaches the beach, they're firing on you. The, you know, the shells are hitting the uh, the MCI. Um, you've got 24 of your 45 guys in your company on your on, on your the, LCI, in the and, and you're seeing men be killed. Oh yeah. Emotionally, I mean, what did that do? What What are you thinking? You almost went brain dead. Like the, mm -hmm. one of the guys grabbed right beside me at the moment before that. He grabbed one of those posts that the Germans had out there to keep the post. And I re didn't realize it then, but there was a mine on it. The machine gun came in and didn't hit him, but hit that mine and blew. It's not nice. There was nothing left of him. He was gone. How, how one, close were you to that when that happened? from here to that china closet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then again, I was running, you know, as low as I could be, and most of it went over, over me there, mm -hmm. after shrapnel. Mm -hmm. And then going on the beach, I'm really close to a guy, probably from here to that first thing there, and I'm saying, spread out, keep spread out. Mm -hmm. And he, this, we saw it coming there, we knew it was coming, we could hear. And we both dove, and I hit the sand here, and he hit it there, when he landed, he landed his stomach on a landmine. When you land on it with your feet, it comes up like this and cuts you in half. When you land on it with your stomach, nothing. No dog tags, no arms, no legs, no, nothing left but blood. Mm -hmm. Terrible, just mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, then you know you're at war. And now you're, you're so scared you don't know, you're not, you keep fighting because you don't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. And you know what real fear is. And you think, but I'm still alive. I can't go backwards. I mean, this all goes through your mind that fast. And if I'm going to stay alive, I can't be laying here. I got to, and be, be, between now and then, there's great officers were up there somewhere hollering, come on, get off the beach. You're going to get killed anyhow. Get up here, get away from the water, get up here. And I'm thinking, these guys are right. I would make my five or 10 yards every chance I could. And the guys on my left or right, I say, go with me, but go off to the side, stay on the side. And some of us got up there and some of us didn't. And medics, mm -hmm. medics were wonderful, but no medic in the world could cover the ground that had to be covered that day. You're working on this guy here, and I see, take care of him, and I'm going to go, and I'd make my own and look back, and there'd be one there and one there. And, and one, I mean, we had at least, at least two medics on the ship with us, and if we had 15, there wouldn't have been enough. You just can't be every place. There was legs and arms and... Mm -hmm. It's a bad thing to talk about. Yes, I understand. Um, to you know, to most contemporary Americans and you know, people around the world, their impression of that is the first thirty minutes of Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen that. Mm -hmm. What's your impression of? Is first it is I it accurate? It, first time I saw it, I'll tell you, was second. I walked out. I couldn't. As soon as it, as soon as it got started like that, I walked out. I couldn't handle. It. I probably waited a month went back and sat through it, and I come out of there like this. And the first time I went back to the beach, I, I knew all at once I couldn't talk to the people I'd taken there to show what happened, so I just acted like I lost something. I went walking down the beach, and I must have gone a couple or three minutes till I got a hold of myself and went back. So, it, uh, And even today, when I was there last winter, it was her last fall, it wasn't... I choked, but just for just for a little bit, it's just. Mm -hmm. uh, so you you think uh, Steven Spielberg accurately portrayed oh, what you guys faced? So I mean, I, it, as much as anything on you know, so set up like that could. So accurate. It was it was scary accurate, but uh, looking at it from that angle, it really scares you. I don't know that. I, 
I was scared, but I was so scared I didn't know I was scared. You know, I knew, I knew what we had to do, and you had to get it done, and you could stand there and get killed, or you, if you're going to get killed anyhow, you might as well do something about it. That's.